As we just went over in the previous training video, I showed you how to create a backup of your files on your computer. More specifically, I created a backup of my exercises folder on my desktop, and of course that includes all the contents that are in the files and even subfolders. And then what I did after I created that backup is I deleted an image within the uh, folder here. It was the Smile JPEG, and then I also made a change to one of the files, this promotions document. It used to be Helena Wales with an S, now it's just Helena Whale. So I'm going to go ahead and close out, and let's see what happens when I go ahead and I do a restore of my backed up folder here, Exercises. As you recall, that I backed up the folder here to an external hard drive, which was the 500 gigabytes. Let me come over here and click on the computer, and there it is, 500 gigabytes. When I double click on it and open it up, there's my backed up file of my Exercises folder on this computer. How do I know that that's the backup? Well, first of all, you want to get used to that little icon there. Anytime you see that, that means it's a backup of your computer, and then it has the name of your computer. Not the name of anybody who logs into your computer, like I logged in under training. The name of this computer is Dreamforce. So to be able to restore that backup, I can do it one of two ways. Either double click on the backup file here, in which case it'll prompt you, do you want to go ahead and restore my files from the backup? Go ahead and click on it if you want to. And then you get this window here, or let me close out. The other way, close out of that completely, click on the start button, go to the control panel, come up here like you're going to do a backup, click on backup your computer, I know you're not doing it, but it's the only way to get to this part here, where I can get the restore my files, click on it, and it brings up the same window. Now when it says here, click browse for files or browse for folders, in other words, do I want to just restore the two files, the one that I deleted and the one that I edited, or the whole folder completely? Now when I click Browse, my question is, is where is it browsing? Let me come over here and click on Browse for Files. When you look at it, at first, the C drive, is that the C drive on my computer? You know, when you come down here, click on the Start button and go to the computer. Is it the C drive here? No. It's the C drive. It made a backup, actually, of your C drive folder. That's why it says Backup of C. Now, as you drill down, as you recall, in many of the earlier training videos, you start with the C drive. On the C drive, you have the Users folder, double-click on Users, then it will have a list of all the users that log in to your computer there, if it's Billy, Susie, Jason. But on my computer, I have Training, Dreamforce, and Kershaw, but since I only backed up for Training, and it didn't back up any of the other files under the other user accounts, then all I get is Training, double-click on that. Then on my Training's desktop, remember I have the Exercises folder, double-click, there it is, double-click, and then it reveals all the files. Now this is cool because where's my smile image? There it is. I can go ahead and select that, hold down the control key and select other files and then click add files. It adds them here. Then I can browse for other folders on that backup image and select those and put them in here and then when I click next it's going to restore all of these here back to their original location. But I can change that and I'll show you that in just a second. So that's what it looks like for Browse Files. Click Browse for Folders. Again, we have to drill down. Created the backup of the C drive, the users, the training, the desktop. There's the Exercises folder. I can select that, click Add Folder. So it's going to restore the whole folder plus the two files therein. I mean, it's a wasted backup. I might as well get rid of these two if I'm restoring the whole folder, right? Because these two are in the folder. Let me just go ahead and select that and remove it. So if this is all I want to restore from the backup, click Next, and then I get two choices. Now I can go ahead and restore these in their original location, the Exercises folder. If I do, it'll overwrite anything in there. So if it's already there, like the Document Promotions, and I made the change there with the person's last name, deleted the S, it'll overwrite it with the backup file. If I don't want any of the backups to overwrite those files in their original location, choose another one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose Original, click Restore, see what it's doing. It found that it was already there. Do you want to go ahead and copy the promotions text on the backup and overwrite that one that's on my computer now, or not copy, or copy but keep both. That way I can compare and contrast. So the file you're copying will be renamed Promotions 2. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And then it restores the other file, the Smile Image. It didn't say it was going to overwrite the Smile Image because the smile image wasn't within the exercises folder on my desktop. 
because I deleted it. So let me go ahead and click finish, close out, open up the exercises. There's the smile, the one that we deleted, came back. And then there's the two promotions. Double click on this one. That's the one I had originally here. And then this one right here came from off the backup. It had the S in Wales where my original, where the one that I had on my desktop didn't have the S. So backups can be pretty nice. Then I can go ahead and compare between the two documents here, the backup a week ago and the changes that I made over the past several days. One final note, another way to go ahead and restore files, besides from what I just showed you, you can go ahead and right click on the file, go to properties, click on the previous versions tab, give it a second or two while it finds those previous versions, and then notice how I have two files here. I have one that's based upon a restore point, and then I have one from the backup. We're going to focus on the backup here. So, as you recall, when I close out of here and I open up this file, it doesn't have the S, right? Close out. When I right click, go to properties, previous versions, and I go ahead and I want to restore it from the backup that we did in the previous training video. Go ahead and select it, click on restore. And then it's going to ask us, do we want to go ahead and copy and replace it because it's already there in the file? We could say, yeah, go ahead and copy and replace it. Click finish. Click okie dokie. When I double click and open it up, it better have the S because that's what I backed up. And then after I backed it up, I deleted the S. So it just restored what I had previously backed up here. I'm going to go ahead and close out and not save it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.